What's up YouTube? Pokemon here bringing you another Friday Fight Night. Today we've got some announcements to make, some prizes to give away, and I'm featuring a new deck named Black Death. Stay tuned and enjoy. Okay guys, let's get down to business. Um, unfortunately, it happened again this week. I uh, was never able to connect and plan out a fight with uh, last week's winner. So we'll be giving away one code card to the other entrance to that drawing. Um, however, uh, instead of drawing three from it, there were only four more people that had entered the drawing. So if you entered and you weren't selected, you now have a code card waiting for you. So, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and show those four names again just to remind them who they are. If your name is on this list right here, hit me up in a YouTube message and I'm going to reply to you with your code card. You have several types of codes to choose from. Here they are. You can have a Primal Clash, a Phantom Forces, a Furious Fist, a Flash Fire, an X and Y base set, Legendary Treasures, Plasma Blast, or Emerging Powers. So just let me know which of those you would like a booster pack of and I will reply to you with your code to enter on Pokemon TCG Online. So, back to business. Uh, because of that, I'm going to make some changes. Um, I mean, we're only one for three on Friday Fight Night <laughs> success rate. So, due to that, I'm going to go ahead and change things up. Um, Friday Fight Night will no longer be a challenge for winning multiple codes. Um, instead, I'm going to do a separate video on a weekly basis with giveaways um, and we'll just do that Friday fight night will be basically just its core no more drawings and all that it will just be me showing off decks giving you example and gameplay um, however if you would like to be featured on Friday fight night just hit me up let me know that you want to be the person I'm battling against with my decks on Friday Fight Night videos, and I'll be happy to do so. I'll probably even hit up some of you guys in the game when I'm ready to do that, just to see if you're willing to be recorded uh, for a Friday Fight Night video. I'll probably hook you up with a code if you do so. Um, so we'll still do that and you'll still get rewarded if you participate in the channel but I'm not gonna do this drawing thing and whatnot because it, it just seems to be too much for people to get back to me within the designated time frame I guess um, too many moving parts and I gotta make sure I get you guys the content that I promised you when I promised you so that's what we're gonna do from now on um, so stay tuned for those giveaways. I'll be doing my first giveaway. My first one will actually not be codes, um, because that giveaway is going to be in celebration of A, the launch of Roaring Skies, and B, the fact that we have surpassed 50 subscribers. In fact, as of right now, we're over 60 subscribers. So it's just climbing up. I can't believe how quick my subscription base is growing right now. Um, did not think... <laughs> I mean, I, I really hope I get this giveaway launched in time before I need to schedule up another one for, you know, 100 subscribers. Not really. I mean, if overnight I somehow have 100 subscribers, I'm going to be freaking ecstatic. Let's be honest. But, <laughs> yeah, so, but this, that particular one will have some actual codes available, or codes, some actual cards, sealed Pokemon TCG products that I will mail out to you. So stay tuned for that video and get up in order to get all the details. And with all that, 
let's get down to our new deck. So by now I'm sure you guys are all curious, what the heck is a Black Death deck? So if you're a little bit of a history buff, I'm sure you know the Black Death was a plague that nearly wiped out Europe a long time ago. And it got spread around from what people, scientists and historians believe to be fleas, hitching rides on the rats, who were hitching rides with the merchants. So, I saw a very strong relationship between the flea and rats in <laughs> the real Black Death to the two main Pokemon in this deck. Therefore, I came up with the nickname the Black Death, or the Black Death of Hoenn, which is where Roaring Skies deck takes place based on the trainers. So let's go ahead and take a look. As you can see, our flea is Shedinja, and our rat, I'm sorry Mew, but you are the rat in this particular thing. I know you're really more of a cat, and you're legendary, so I hate to insult you that way, but that's the relationship you have. You got Shedinja's all up on you. <laughs> Alright, so here's how the deck works. This is, this is a very basic version of this deck. And I found it to be very consistent in performance. Um, there is another version of this deck out there. I don't have all the cards needed to do it. There's actually a few versions, but there's only one that I'm pretty interested in trying out. But I currently don't have the cards necessary to do that. So when I get those, I'll probably do that one as well. But for the time being, I figured it is good to just do a basic one that shows off the main strategy of this. And you guys obviously can make your own tweaks to the Pokemon lineup, the trainer cards in use, and the energy. So let's get down to it. We got Ninkata. He really is only here to get to Shedinja. 40 HP, 1 attack, and it does damage itself, which is useful for Shedinja. But... 9 times out of 10, we're not going to be using this move at all. Because we have other methods of getting damage. Shedinja. Only 30 HP. Yes, its HP went down when it evolved. Very odd, I know. Uh, but its attack, Hopeless Screen, kind of explains that. 50 damage times the number of damage counters on this Pokemon. Obviously, they got to keep the HP down or this guy's just going to dominate. Take the whole world by storm. We got a four lines of that. Then we've got four Mew. Mew will be the one that will actually be using Hopeless Scream for us via his ability Versatile. As you can see, Mew has a lot more HP than Shedinja. Plenty of spare HP for that Hopeless Scream move to bulk up and be a powerhouse for one-hit kills. And if you think about it, most of the competitive decks that are built with the purpose of one-hit kills can one-hit kill Mew anyways. So it just, it doesn't really hurt you to take its HP down a little bit. Not really. And we've got four of them so we can easily have spares lined up and ready to go. Mewtwo's in here just for the same reason he's always in decks. He's a tech, it's another way of attacking. You know, just two energy and you're good to go. Never hurts to have a spare backup plan. Mr. Mind's here to keep our Shedinja on the bench alive with Bench Barrier. And then we got Sigilyph for the safeguard uh, just to help buy us some time and deal with any of those pesky, pesky uh Pokemon that will keep Mew from attacking, you know? We just don't like those guys. <clears throat> now there are two main strategies that you will, well, there's three things going on here with the trainers. One is the acceleration of our setup. Well, yeah, I guess there's only two. Accelerating our setup. To do that, We've got Evo Sodas, a couple of them to evolve those Ninkatas. We've got In to accel increase our draw acceleration. 
Professor Sycamore, same reason, and Skyla, you know, just to hunt out any cards we may need. Task number two is Disruption. Uh, we just want to keep them from getting set up and tearing us apart because of how low the HP is. So for that, we've got Hypnotoxic Laser. It will help us put our enemy to sleep, as well as weaken them a little so that if we don't get enough damage on our Mew, it still could potentially take him out due to the poison. We've got red cards, two of them. Very useful for disruption, makes the opponent put his entire hand into the deck and then draw four cards. So if he has a big hand, six plus, this guy will come in handy, taking down the number of cards he has available to him and slowing him down a great deal. We've got a startling megaphone to get rid of those tools for decks that rely on it, such as Garbodor and, you know, taking out a floatstone from Keldeo and so on. We've got our Via Seeker to find those things again. I actually should have been in the other section. We got Lysander. Um, you know, if they're set up with one Pokemon and their bench Pokemon's got nothing going on, you can use this and hope they don't have a switch. <laughs> um, or a free retreating Pokemon that they can bust in there like Keldeo. But um, it just helps you out in that way and slowing them down. And then, of course, it can also help you pull out a big threat that's almost ready on their bench. Um, and you want to take him out before he has a chance to take you out. Lysander's trump card. I usually put one of these in every deck. It's a decent little counter to s disrupt uh, Night March decks, and it also can save you from drawing out if the need be. And then the final bit of disruption are these Headringer cards. Put those onto those EXs that the opponent is using to slow them down and make them have to have more energy to attack. Now we'll get into how are we going to damage Mew so that he can use Hopeless Scream. I mean, if we don't have a strategy for doing that ourselves, our opponent will just sit back and not attack until he's got his Pokemon all set up and ready to go. To do that, we've got Frozen City. This will put two damage counters on any Pokemon that you put energy on from your hand. So there's 20, that makes the attack do 100 damage right off the bat. And it also will weaken your opponent as he's playing energy. It's double duty. Then we also have Rainbow Energies. These put one damage counter onto your Pokemon. So if you put a Prism Energy on a Mew with a Frozen City, that's three damage counters. That's 150 damage right there, all on its own. Then if you really want to crank it up, you can just throw one more Psychic Energy on there. Boom, you've got five damage counters, which is dealing out 250 damage, which will take out pretty much anything in the game in a single hit. And that's all she wrote, guys. That is the Black Death, more commonly known as Shedinja Mew. So without further ado, let's get out of this and go play us a game with Black Death and see how it holds up. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get us a random battle going and see how we do with Black Death. He wins it, so let's see what happens. Alright, we lucked out. We got Mew right out the bat. We got Draw Acceleration. We got some decent disruption. Yeah, this will do just fine.
Oh, looks like we might have someone trying out the ancient trait Dragonite from Roaring Skies. This could be interesting. Oh, so beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead. I don't know. The Sycamore. Frozen City, put an energy down, there's a couple damage there, do a red card, slow them down, then let's go ahead and, you know what, I'm actually going to go ahead and use Nimkata's move. Boom! Now I can dish out exactly 40 damage. Should be able to survive any hit he gives me, even if he evolves, I think. I don't have Dragonair's moves memorized. But, yeah. Pretty sure I'm safe for now. Looks like our opponent, Cali Hart, is thinking about how to proceed. And, wow, did Cali Hart just give up? <laughs> we got a victory due to timeout, whether it was a concede without knowing how to officially concede or what, we don't know for sure, but That's one. I think I'll try and get another one really quick just to give you guys a better taste of it because that wasn't a very good example. Just one second. Let's see. Put this. Alright, we found us our opponent. It is Ollie 101. He won the flip. He's got the Requaza Elite Trainer sleeves. And we got our. S and our main man. And we got. this. Okay, not a bad start. Go ahead and get a prism on there. There's one damage. And we'll Sycamore for a fresh hand of seven. Put down another Ninktata. And a Frozen City. And we'll end it right there. <coughs> Next turn we'll... Yeah, oh, he's got the dragon type for Quaza. Unfortunately, I can't get the Headringer on there because he already did put on the Spirit Link. sure why he did that this turn, but he'll be all right. I'm not going to end him. <laughs> oh, he's going for our me the Mega Rayquaza, it looks like.
Okay, so let's go ahead and get that extra damage on there. That's three. He can dish out 150 now. Looking good. Do another sycamore. Got us our backup. Oh man, we still, still don't have a Shedinja though. This is no good. Yeah, might as well deal a little damage. Uh, could X Ball, Dragon Claw, or right, well, Dragon Claw. <laughs> I'm assuming his strategy is to use maybe the Envor that has the energy acceleration built into it. That would be my guess. Oh, he's got a rush around as well. We're going to be killing him slowly just with... Yeah, see, there's that Embor. I was right. That was his plan. He probably has Mega Turbos to dish that out. All right, let's go ahead and get this Headringer on his other Rayquaza so he struggles with the second one. So go ahead and let's see. No. No. Alright. Uh, trying to think of how I want to play this. He's only got three energy on it so far, so he can't attack yet. Alright. Let's put Frozen City back out. That back out. And, oh, jeez. Yeah, and then we will Sycamore. That should get us a Shedinja. There he is. We are officially in business. Only need 30, so we'll do that. <clears throat> in case he's not aware of the danger he's in with Shedinja. I'm sure he is, but it's kind of fun to think that you're maybe faking someone out. <laughs> Okay, we've got some options here. Let's see, how many energies does he have? Four, five, six, six, and two is 120. Oh, he conceded again. I guess he was doing math as well and realized he was in trouble. Well, I kind of hate to leave it at that, but, I mean, if people keep on quitting because they become aware of the strength of Shedinja, there's not much I can do. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, enjoyed the new deck Black Death, also known as Shittinja Mew.
Um, I gotta say, I'm, I'm kind of a big fan. It's the new version of the Night March, basically. Um, but that's it for this video. Uh, let me know what you think of the Black Death deck in the comments below. Um, maybe different versions that you've used, um, combining it with some other Pokemon or trainer cards. Or even ones you haven't tried out yet. Maybe you don't have these cards handy, but you are already strategizing how you'll use it. We'll get a discussion going. Uh, again, I've got that sweepstakes coming up very soon, so keep a sh sharp eye out for that. And thanks again for watching, guys. Take care.